When we last looked at the M60 at the very beginning of this series, it was the Modern Warfare 3 variant that proved more powerful than the weapon from Black Ops. While statistically inferior apart from the rate of fire, the Modern Warfare 3 variant benefits from far more setup options. In particular, the Stalker Pro Perk dramatically improves the weapon's performance, and the Specialist Package can be used to devastating results as almost all of the M60's weaknesses can be mitigated. Weapon proficiencies also add much more flexibility to your setup options. For example, the Attachments proficiency means that you can run two attachments without compromising on perk choice. All in all, the M60 in Modern Warfare 3 is very powerful, but what about the M60 from the original Modern Warfare? This weapon is well known for its damage output, so how does it compare against the more feature-rich weapon from Modern Warfare 3? On paper at least, they're very similar, albeit not quite as identical as the Black Ops and Call of Duty 4 variants are. The key difference is that the M60 from Call of Duty 4 has better range and almost a 10% faster movement speed. It also has a slight damage advantage, although this doesn't reduce the shots to kill at range. Apart from these areas though, they're almost identical. Unlocked at level 19, the M60 E4 is one of only three light machine guns in the game. It has the highest damage in the category and it's the only gun capable of a two-shot kill without requiring a headshot. It's also the only light machine gun that has damage drop-off, with it dropping to a three-shot kill at 25 meters. Long distance is not where the M60 excels though, due to the brutal recoil and extremely obtrusive irons. It also suffers from considerable muzzle flash, making any target outside of mid-range very difficult to track. Precision is not a strength of the M60. Where the weapon shines is in its ability to deliver a substantial volume of damage through sustained automatic fire. Much like the AA-12, once you have the enemy in your sights, simply pinning the trigger is often the best strategy. There are only three attachments to choose from in Call of Duty 4. The two most effective are the Red Dot Sight and the Grip. The Red Dot tends to be the more popular choice as the benefits are far more obvious. The clearer view and slight magnification make the weapon significantly easier to track targets with. It also somewhat mitigates the issue of muzzle flash, making it a very useful attachment. I'd argue that the grip is the better choice though. The grip provides a significant reduction to the recoil, which is arguably the largest contributing factor to the weapon's poor strength at range. It also improves hip fire accuracy, and while this doesn't convert the M60 into an all-purpose powerhouse, it will make it much more consistent at close to mid-range. It also makes prolonged fire more accurate as the gun will kick wildly without the attachment when you hold down the trigger. You do sacrifice the blue perk slot though, which means you can't use bandolier, but thankfully this perk isn't particularly critical for success with the M60. The ACOG is the final attachment unlocked, and it's almost useless as the high view kick and poor performance at range makes it a bad fit. Basically, avoid this attachment unless you're trying to complete the challenges. Along with the high recoil, the other major drawback of the M60 is its reload time. At almost 10 seconds it's the lengthiest in game, and if you're not careful can leave you very vulnerable. You can reduce reload times using sleight of hand, and while it's certainly a nice option, it means you'll have to go without stopping power or double tap. These two perks tend to be the better options in most scenarios. Stopping power will allow for two shot kills at any distance, which makes it much more effective at range. Double tap on the other hand makes the weapon far more competitive up close. You'll definitely want to pair it with the grip though, as the aforementioned recoil will make it very difficult to use otherwise. The M60 in Call of Duty 4 is incredibly bare bones. It's not particularly versatile, and its most effective attachment means you'll have to live with the horrible irons. But when it comes down to it, its power easily outweighs its shortcomings, and when played to its strengths, it can be very difficult to counter. Aesthetically, there's not much in it between the two weapons. The gun model from Modern Warfare 3 is clearly the more detailed, and remains my favourite of the two. Gun noise is equally distinct, but of the two I actually think the more simple noise from Call of Duty 4 is my favourite. So which is the winner? It's the M60 from Modern Warfare 3. In a bare bones fight without any perks, attachments or proficiencies, the Call of Duty 4 variant would win hands down. It has the superior reach and movement speed. But as it stands, almost every weakness the M60 has in Modern Warfare 3 can be nullified using any combination of perks, attachments and proficiencies. Of course, if you feel differently about the winner, be sure to let me know. And if you've got a suggestion for this series, please leave them in the comments section. Anyway, that's all I've got for you in this video. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'm out of here.